Hey guys, Keanu again, and in today's lesson we're going to be taking a look at the song Around the World and Back by State Champs. So this will be an acoustic version of the song and it'll be using some easy beginner chords as well as one or two uh, intermediate chords I would suggest. Um, but they're not too hard, um, so don't be put off by that. It's also going to use some um, easy strum patterns as well. Uh, so to play this song you won't need a capo, I know I've got mine on the second fret. But my guitar is tuned a whole step down, so I just need to pop it on the second to make it sound like it's in standard tuning. But you guys, you won't need a capo and it will sound just like this. So, uh, to begin with I'm just going to go through all the chords and then I'll touch on the strum pattern and then I'll get into the bulk of the song. So for the intro, verse, uh, pre-chorus and chorus, you're just going to use uh, two strumming patterns all together uh, within them. And then when you get to the bridge, you'll go to strum pattern 3. But I'll uh, touch on that strum pattern when I get to the bridge. So the chords you need to know, uh, the first one will be an E major. The second chord uh, will be an E sus 4, I believe. Uh, so you just get your pinky and pop it on the second fret of the third string. And then play everything open, like with the E major. All you're doing is literally putting that pinky on there. So they're the first two chords. The third chord is this A sus 2, I believe it is. So when you're on an A major chord, you just take the finger off, which is on the second fret of the second string. Leave the two high strings open and mute that uh, lowest sixth string. And then your A. Uh, the fourth chord is this B power chord shape, but leaving the high still open, mute the 6th string. Next chord is a C sharp power, power chord shape. So like that B, you move up 2 frets, leave the high still open, mute the 6th string. The next chord is this F sharp, um, this shape. I think it's technically an A slash F sharp. So when you're on this, this A shape, uh, pop a finger on the 2nd fret of the 6th string and then you want to try and mute that 5th string as well. Leave the high strings open. So you can play this uh, whichever finger you want, whichever you find easiest. Uh, the first intermediate chord is going to be in the verse. So, chord will look like this. So when you're on an E major shape, and this chord will be used after an E major as well, um, and it's not it's not too high for finger wise to get to. So all you gotta do is leave your first finger where it is, so that'll be the anchor. Move your second finger down one string and take your third finger off. So it'll be that and then pop your pinky onto the 4th fret of the 6th string and then what you want to try and do is mute that 5th string but I think that will natural, naturally happen um, just the way that your pinky rests on that string there and then what you want to do is leave the high two strings open as well and it should sound like that so after the E major you just go like that so this is made a bit easier with this first finger just acting as an anchor. And the next chord you go off of this is an A. So all you do is move your third finger to the second fret, the third string off of that. So you've got two uh, fingers there acting as anchors. And the final two chords will only be used a little bit in the song. Um, so the, the next chord will be this G sharp shape. So when you're on that F sharp shape, literally just move up two frets. And uh, that's just used once within the song. And the last chord will be this E slash C sharp, I think it's technically called. So if you're on a, that B power chord shape, move your first finger down a string and move your third finger up a string. 
mute the six string and leave the highest two open. I think that's only used twice within the song as well. So the majority of the song will be an E major, this E slash G sharp, and this A as well, as well as the, uh, the, the power chord shapes. Uh, but the other chords are used uh, sparingly within the song. So getting into the strum patterns now. Uh, strum pattern one will be down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So that strum pattern will be used for the intro, the verse, and the chorus as well. So within that strum pattern, I'm going to put a slash, and when you get to that slash, that's where you want to change chord. If I uh, if I say so, strum pattern two will just be using the verse, um, but I'll touch on where to use it when I go through the chord progressions. So strum pattern two will be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. And just like the previous strum pattern, I'll put a slash within that strum pattern um, to represent where you need to change chord. And like I said before, there's also a strum pattern 3, but I'll touch upon that when I get to the bridge. So getting into the chord progressions now, the intro starts off with an E major, and that'll be using strum pattern 1. Uh, you'll play the E major for one strum pattern in length. And then next you go to this E sus4, so just add a new pinky on, and you also play that for one strum pattern in length, a strum pattern one. And that'll be your intro, and then you get into the verse. So the verse starts with an E, and that'll be strum pattern one. So the E is played for half a strum pattern. Then you get to the E sus4, it's played for the second half a strum pattern one. Then you go back to E, half a strum pattern one again. Go back to E sus4, half strum pattern 1 again. And then you change to strum pattern 2. And you'll go to this E slash G sharp. The second half of that strum pattern will be the A shape. You go back to the E slash G sharp um, for half a strum pattern 2. Then you go back to the A shape for half a strum pattern 2. And that whole chord progression there will be played two times around. Uh, just in case you missed anything, uh, those chords will be in the description as well. Just in case uh, I'm just going a bit too quick. Okay, moving on to the pre-chorus now. You go to a C sharp, which you play uh, just a single strum on, and that's uh, for one strum pattern in length. Then you go to a B, which will be one single strum again for one uh, strum pattern in length. Then you go to an A, which will be a single strum again, but this time for two strum patterns in length. Then you go back to a C sharp for one strum pattern in length, and a single strum again. Then you go to this E shape, and, and you can play a normal E like that. Or you can do a power chord shape up on the 7th fret of the 5th string. And that'll be a single strum and one strum pattern in length. And then go down to the A uh, for a single strum and two strum patterns in length. And then you do a few mutes and then go into the chorus. So the chorus um, uses strum pattern one and it starts off with a C sharp, which you play for a whole strum pattern. Then you go down to B, which is for a whole strum pattern as well. Then to A, which is played for uh, two strum patterns. Then you go back to C sharp, which is played for one strum pattern. Go back to B, which is played for one strum pattern. Then to A, which is played for two strum patterns again. Then you go to this F sharp shape which is played for one strum pattern. Then to this A, which is played for one strum pattern. A sharp, which is played for one strum pattern. And then it's a split strum pattern between A, 
and B. But instead of playing the strum pattern, you just uh, play single strum, so. But it's played for strum pattern in length, effectively, you're just playing single strums. So what I'll do now, I'll play the intro, the verse, the pre-chorus, and the chorus as well. So it should sound like this. And then from there, you go back to the intro, uh, which is played exactly the same as the previous intro. Then you get to verse two, which is exactly the same as verse one. Then you get to the next pre-chorus, which is exactly the same as the previous pre-chorus. Then you play the second chorus, which is exactly the same as the previous chorus, except for the very end. So the last bit, like before, you play the single strums on the A to the B, it'll be the we're making history and then there's a little um, tag on the very end so that will be an E major for a whole shrimp pattern uh, and that'll be shrimp pattern one and then it's half a shrimp pattern one on this E slash C sharp and the second half will be on this B shape and then you go to an A, which is for a whole shrimp pattern, and then it's split again between an E slash C sharp and a B. So what I'll do now, I'll just play that second chorus for you, uh, just so you can see how the little bit on the end fits in. Sometimes I can't help but say Just before you get into the bridge, you can do a few mutes. Okay, going to the bridge now, you move on and you strum pattern three. So strum pattern three will be down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. And just like the previous strum patterns, it'll be in the description. And I'll also put a slash within that strum pattern, and that's where you need to change chord. Um, so, moving on to the chord progression for the bridge. You play an A for half the strum pattern, an E for half the strum pattern, a C sharp for half the strum pattern, and a B for half the strum pattern. And that chord progression will go around three times. And then when you get to the fourth time round, you move to strum pattern one. And now you play an F sharp for half the strum pattern, and that'll be strum pattern one, remember. Half on a G sharp, and then a whole strum pattern on this A. Then you do half again on the F sharp, but this time it'll just be a single strum. Half on the G sharp, 
again a single strum and then a whole strum pattern in length on his A and that again would just be a single strum and then you can go into the final chorus so the final chorus will be exactly the same as the previous chorus um, so the only difference will be on that little tag um, like before you for that previous tag you would play an E to an E slash C sharp to a B and uh, that stay the same in this final chorus but unlike in the previous chorus where you the next bit will be A and then it will be split between E slash C sharp and B this time you just play an A for a whole strum pattern and then finish the song uh, with just one single strum on an E so what I'll do now, I'll play through that bridge uh, and then I'll play that final chorus uh, just so you can piece everything together. So it should sound like this. So I think I've covered everything there. Uh, like I say, all the chords will be in the description as well as all the strum patterns as well. So if you haven't already, please just hit the subscribe button. I've got a lot more content on my channel and I plan to release a lot more videos in the future as well. Um, if you've got any questions, please put them in the comments section. If you've got any requests as well, put them down there as well. And I'll uh, try and answer them as quickly as possible. And until next time, peace out.